Dr. Watson's office is where the Oakland Frontline Healers was perfect. I am a nine year lupus survivor um, and have been fighting this fight for the last nine years, and but also in the last four years, been on the front line serving our community with community gun violence, domestic violence, locating over 43 missing people, 39 was um, exposed to human traffic under the age of 18, um, but also um, mentoring and a life coach in our community, basically being an Uncle D. So here was, I came in at the end of March from my Rootley um, checkup with Dr. Watson, and I noticed that it was only three staff members and Dr. Watson, no patients that only had masks on. And this is when COVID really hit the Bay Area. And I was scared. So I told Dr. Watson, I said, I'm gonna wait outside. He called me in. And when I got in a room, I talked to him. I asked why I don't want to have masks. He explained to me that right now, priority was for the hospitals. They was in urgent need. So they was low on the pole as being a doctor office. So as me being a community, in the community all the time, uh, partnership with so many different nonprofits and grassroots organizations. What I did was I started making some phone calls. I asked Dr. Watson to call um, some doctors and let's get on this phone call so we put this together. And from that, we have put together 30 grassroots organizations in Oakland, California, two faith-based and over 17 doctors have came together to support Oakland Frontline Healers to get out here to do the work to stop the spread of COVID-19. And that's what Open Frontline Healers started from right here at this office. It was birthed here. And that's what we're really about. It's stopping the spread so we can save our family lives and our lives too. Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson. We're here at the James A. Watson Wellness Center. And this center was started in 1962 by three African-American doctors. Uh, since we're socially distanced, I can pull this off for a <laughs> second. But Dr. James Watson, Dr. Robert Taylor, and Dr. Benjamin Major. It is a multi-specialty clinic in which we took care of children, we take care of adults, women, uh, has a laboratory, has had a pharmacy in the past. We have a chiropractor here, and it really is a specialty clinic to take care of African Americans in this community, uh, particularly those low income, disenfranchised. As you know, we make up 12.5% of the population, but about 25% of the deaths. We are disproportionate as it relates to the coronavirus and to diabetes, to congestive heart failure, stroke, prostate cancer. Unfortunately, through genetics and probably social aspects of health, we have disparities in disease. And one of the things that we want to do is reduce those disparities in disease. So if we make up 12% of the population, then we should only have 12% of the, of the disease. So we really try to help our folks here, and we also reach out to the community. I was very fortunate in that I went to a church and a brotherhood meeting where I met Daryl Ullums, and Daryl became a patient here, and we developed a wonderful relationship. And one day uh, he came in and he said, Doc, can I get a mask after the coronavirus pandemic had begun? Well, most of the masks were in hospitals and there weren't many that clinics could get. And he said, you know, I'm really concerned about that. And I work with other groups that are out there that need to have masks, they need to have personal protective equipment. As a matter of fact, they need to be tested. 
So Daryl and I talked and we started trying to figure out ways to get things. He then circled around and pulled together about 26 to 30 other groups, all who needed PPE, who needed all the aspects of health, housing, psychological support, violence prevention, economic support, along with clinics we pulled together the Doctors Alliance in which we work with Roots and the West Oakland Health Center and a few other private doctors to screen people in the coronavirus pandemic and so we've started screening people we've gone out to churches to screen people we've gone out to the community to screen people and Daryl has brought several people here along with our regular patients to screen them some of them are positive we have found that the uh, Latino population really is very high risk and so we are also screening that population. We've done a television show on uh, our TV, it's now on the internet as well, and a PSA in which we talk about the frontline healers, Oakland's frontline healers. So that is the organization that Daryl started after he just asked about a mask. Uh, he pulled together that organization. Through his advocacy, we contacted the city, we contacted the county, and we were able to get some personal protective equipment, along with equipment to do testing. You'll see a young man here who's a medical student from Toro University. He has helped us to put together the data, the statistics, how many people we tested, how many are positive, where they are located and has put together the protocols through public health on what to do if you're positive. I want to show you where our protective equipment is at this time. Here we started out, I just started out with one mask. Now through the advocacy of the Oakland Frontline Healers we have gowns, we have boxes of, of masks for personal protective equipment. We have um, face shields so that we can go out and screen people in the community. We have gloves. We have shoe covers, hand sanitizing equipment. And this tells you what I look like when I'm in the hospital testing patients. And so, just like in the hospital, Oakland Frontline Healers has helped to equip us so that we can go out to the community and look like this with the same type of safety that those in the community have. We have goggles, you know, all types of equipment. So, we've been very, very fortunate um, to be a part of this. And so what we want to do is to try to do fundraising development because the situation is getting worse. It's not getting any better. Uh, in California, the numbers continue to rise. Part of it, <clears throat> I think the Latino population is they may be afraid to seek out health care because the government may try to deport undocumented individuals. Uh, we don't want to see that happen. We want to just see people get taken care of and that's what we're trying to do irregardless of their race their socioeconomic status um, their sexual status any of these types of things we want to take care of those brothers and sisters that are at high risk that's what we do through the Oakland frontline healers we are a group of advocates and we are actually out there hands-on doing the testing ourselves so I always say that your health is your wealth, and if you knew better, you could do better. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson, and welcome to the James A. Watson Wellness Center, named after my daddy, Dr. James A. Watson.